Hello, here's Chris with a new quick tip video for Blender. Today I show you how to set random colors to materials. As you can see, I can copy this cube and the result gets a random color. So let's see how this works. Here I have an example scene with a simple cube object. As you can see, the object has no material. I create a new material by going to the Materials tab, or I do it in the shaders here in the shader editor. To do this, you just activate the cube or your object and make a new material. The default name is Material, and I rename this material by clicking here into this name field and say Random Color. This is our new material. The same name is now here in the Materials tab of this object and is called Random Color. The default material in Blender is just a principal shader here and it's a white color and we can change the color here if we want. The problem is when I duplicate the object then it has the same color. But we want that uh, we want to have the duplicates individual colors, so every duplicate have to have a new color after I duplicate them. To do this, we start with a ramp, a color ramp. To add a color ramp into Blender, you go to Add, into a converter, and then a color ramp. This is a color ramp node, and you plug the output color of the color ramp into the base color of our material. Now the color of this material is a middle color here, a value of the ramp. So as soon as I change the ramp, you can see the color changes here in the material too. We want now to have a random value for this color. To do this, we use the, the object info uh, node. To add an object info node, you go to add, input, and get the object info node here. The object info node uh, has some information about the object, so like location, the object index, the material index, and a random value. We use this random output here and plug it into the factor. That's this value here. And now you see the random value gives every copy a random value of our ramp. And the color that is used here is one of the colors here of, on the ramp. So you see, every time when I duplicate this cube, for example, a new color will be created here. So what if we want to have colorful colors, a lot of colors, and maybe the colors of our our color, uh, color ramp here, of our RGB uh, values, this uh, color wheel. To do this, you go into the color ramp and set the first value here, for example, to green. And the last one you set to, let's say, pink. i show you what happened. At the moment, you see just a simple ramp. If you want to have random colors, you switch from RGB mode to HSV mode. And what happens now? You see this mode here, the option changes and the color changes too. So what we see here? We see a ramp from green to pink. So we see a ramp from this value to pink value. Okay? So Already we see a random value color here in our objects. To create or to show the whole color wheel values, you can change here this color and move it to this position here, nearly green. But the ramp is always linear. So what we want is to walk around this color values. To do this, you go to near and change this mode to clockwise. You could use counterclockwise, then the value would go in this direction, counterclockwise, from this point. This point is here, our green value, and we use 
clockwise and the values will now go around and be displayed here in our color ramp in this order. So I go to clockwise and we see all the colors that are displayed here on the way when this value is going around this circle. Okay, so when I change, for example, the target color to yellow, so we see just values from this value going around to here and we see only this area. So it's shorter and it will don't display all the colors. But if we want to see the complete values, you have to move it until this value here will be shown. Now we have the complete color wheel here inside these values and every new object will get a new color. I show it again. I select all my cubes, duplicate with Shift D and move them up. And now you see all cubes have different colors. With Shift R I can remove or I can uh, I can repeat my, my duplication and always you see it's a completely different color here uh, in this uh, in this objects. The same can be done of course if you have a simple color ramp. So I duplicate my ramp to show you the difference. Go to RGB and let's say we want to have a nice blue value here and maybe, I don't know, a yellow one here. And this is uh, values are maybe a bit darker. Okay, so make it a bit darker here. Now we have this, this ramp, this color ramp, and I change it now by putting the random value to this value and the output to here. And you see we have just the values that are found here on this ramp. So you see, it's very easy to create random colors by using one single material. You just use the object info with the random value, a color ramp with colors you want to have, and plug it into the base color. The same, by the way, can be done with all the other values, so you can control by a color ramp, the roughness, the metallic, and so on. Thank you very much. I hope you like my tips and visit my website or subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.